Well, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Solenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on uh, Shiba. Wanted to do a quick video on this. I mean, someone requested it yesterday in the community, so just wanted to give you my thoughts, wanted to do a full update. Uh, th there's nothing necessarily urgent right now about Shiba Inu. Um, there, there's no, I mean, it's, it's basically moving together with the markets and it's, it's one of the weaker meme coins. I mean, it really seems to me just in general when we talk about these meme coins. Um, that the older ones, such as Doge, I mean, Doge, I, I still still think it has potential. But a coin like Shiba, I'm not sure if it's still going to do well. All right. Uh, I, I know that the Shiba community is still very, very strong and that is definitely worth something. Um, but it, I mean, it, when, when you talk about all the bullish momentum for meme coins we've seen, maybe at the end of May, Shiba was quite bullish. Uh, but we never really got a bullish breakout. Because if you look at Shiba Inu right now, uh, we've basically been consolidating in this range between uh, 2900 right here, which was also the main resistance at the end of May. And then this support level right here at like 2000, we've basically been consolidating there for the last, uh, for the, well, over, over two months. Even though some meme coins like Pepe, uh, like Floki, like Bonk actually did very, very well in that period of time. So if you look at uh, Shiba right now, I still think this is the situation, all right? So that we are consolidating uh, in, this, uh, in, in this area. Now, we have jumped down quite a bit. And just in general, what, what, what I think is, is best to assume is that we're going to move similar to, to Bitcoin, all right? So Bitcoin dropped down a lot on Friday, of course. Shiba did as well. Most coins did. Um, but what we're waiting for is how we will open the next week. Right, so the volume right now across the markets is very, very low. That's going to increase. That's going to jump up. A lot of new positions will be opened. A lot of new capital will flow into the markets. That's going to make Bitcoin move. And the direction of that move is going to determine the direction of Shiba. Now, overall, due to the, the, the relative weakness from Shiba in, uh, in relation to other meme coins, and due to the situation for Bitcoin right now, which is not strong, all right? We had a big dump. Usually what you want to see is a, is, is a strong recovery. Uh, due to that situation, I actually think it's more, more likely to assume for Shiba that we're going to be bearish, all right? Now, do I think we're going to break out of this, this range we've been holding for, 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 the, for the last two and a half months? No, all right? We have a massive support level right here between 2000 and 2100. I expect that to hold. So... Uh, and, and, that's, it, and like I said, it's also very reliant on the markets, because even though I, th I think it's most likely that we'll continue this bearish momentum into that support and that we'll find strong support from there and from there, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll consolidate and maybe even get some sort of a new new uh, uptrend. That's what I expect. Um, but even though that even though that looks most likely at this moment, it is very subject to change because of the markets. If Bitcoin turns bullish here and you, you all of a sudden see meme coins and then you see the whole narrative around meme coins rally, um, then Shiba, look, this level in the middle is the most important level. So that's around 25 and 2600. If we are able, right now we've actually uh, dropped down below that, um, uh, confirmed it as resistance. So that was, if, if you look at this consolidation, that was a confirmation that we were dropping back down after hitting the top of the consolidation, that we were dropping back down to the bottom. Now, if Bitcoin gets very bullish in the next couple of weeks, then there's a chance that Shiba starts testing the, the resistance level there and that we're able to get some sort of a bullish confirmation to get back up to the top of the range. That is possible, but only if Bitcoin turns bullish. At this moment, I see no sign of strong bullish momentum for, for, for both Shiba and, and Bitcoin. And that's why I think it's more, more likely to get some sort of a bearish continuation down to the bottom of the range. Um, but that's what I think you need to know for now. All right. So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a great Sunday and bye.